Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Dana Gidi, and I'm going to share my testimony with you today. Um, so when I was 10, I read a book by Judy Bloom where the main character asks the question, are you there, God, it's me, Margaret? Um, I had my own are you there, God moment, except I knew the answer was yes. I didn't have a single clue how to pursue this feeling of knowing there was something more. Um, I was raised without a religion. My father was an atheist, and my mom had left the Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall when she was 16. Uh, there was no talk of God or of Jesus Christ or of the Bible in my home, and yet I still had this hunger to explore my faith. Um, the first time I went to TMP was on a Friday night, and my best friend Catherine told me that if I wanted to hang out with her, I would have to come to youth. <laughs> so I cried that night at youth. Suddenly, my feelings of knowing God were so real. He was so good and full of grace and forgiveness, and I wasn't alone. Here, I was surrounded by people worshiping a God that I felt like I had known my entire life, but was now officially being introduced to me. It was like the world's best kept secret was being screamed out in front of me by all of these other people. So in high school, my life at home was spiraling. I had broken off all contact with my father and I was left dealing with anxiety and PTSD. Um, I started praying and kept trying to pursue my faith, um, but my anxiety now turned into depression and I had tried to feed my soul, but all in the wrong ways. And it had actually turned so bad, I became suicidal. Um, until I learned to nourish my soul and find what fills my heart, I opened my Bible and I read the gospel and just knew that that was what my soul was needing. An image came to me of Jesus pulling me out of the water and out of the darkness that had been my depression and confusion. In the water, I had lost myself and he pulled me out. It was this image that made me realize he was not only saving me, but he was healing my soul. <laughs> I let go of all worries and realized that God had a plan for me and that he had sent Jesus to die for my sin and for my brokenness. And I just need to trust him and accept this amazing gift. Um, there's no looking back now. I'm at every Sunday service and I serve downstairs in TMP Kids. And I read my Bible, and I listen to my worship music, and I just know that Jesus has healed my soul and set me free, and that he has a purpose for me and makes everything come together and make sense. I'm also so blessed by a counselor that encourages me to work, pursue the Lord and work through my problems in a faith-based way. I know my life isn't purpose or perfect, but Jesus gives meaning to everything in my life. Thank you. Thank you.